Hi everyone, this is Chris, and surprise, surprise, it is not a close to my heart video, <laughs> but a haul video, which I don't think I've ever done before, but um, being that Archivers is closing in the next week, and will never be again, I'm assuming, I thought I could show my last haul from Archivers as a little tribute to them. Um, so I'll just go through it quick. I didn't get too much, too crazy, but I had fun. And like I said, it was sad at the same time. Um, this first thing I got was um, from Crate Paper, and it's a paper collection, and it looks like there's some embellishments in there. I didn't open it yet. I li really like the colors, that green. There's a lot of stuff that I got with that green in it, that teal green. really like that. Another paper pack I got was from Pink Paisley. I think this is an older older paper from the House of Three collection. Really liked the, the yellow with the blue and then the Atlas paper. Got some chipboard pieces from Crate Paper. They're really heavy. And again I liked that that green and they got some pretty gold in there pieces. Chipboard pieces from My Mind's Eye has that green in there again. Um, this one is a, oh, this is a Christmassy one. Then I got from Heidi Swap from her Memory Files collection, um, one of her albums. It's pretty thick, pretty cool, um, but it has all like different sizes of paper shapes. It has um, transparent pieces with sentiments on it. Here's another transparent piece. Pages with windows and flaps and little sections for pictures. So I really like her, her stuff. Although I haven't been able to get much of it, so I was happy I got to get it as a deal. Even though, like I said, I'm very sad that Archivers is closing. I got some stickers, cute little girl ones, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. <laughs> um, from American Crafts and these cherries are really cute and I got some other stuff with cherries on it too I'll show you um, a little Christmas album from Studio Calico I'm thinking maybe I'll make a gift for somebody <laughs> maybe um, my receipt I might have to scrapbook my last receipt from Archivers and some embellishments. I got stick pins from My Mind's Eye and some from Little Yellow Bicycle. Some Christmassy ones. Um, from Prima. Some light bulbs with a sentiment on them. They're really light. So they should work well with scrapbooking pages. Seven Gypsies. Um, dangles. This one, they're all in there. They just kind of came out of the package. But that was this was the last one they had. And this one. And some Tim Holtz. Um, I had some of these. I used a whole bunch of them. I really liked them, so I decided to get some more. I think this little embellishment is my favorite. So much so that I got two. <laughs> and it was because of the little cherries on there. So cute. The little cherries. And then there's on the top, there's the grapes and little ladybugs. Too cute. I talked my friend Tanya into getting a pack or two of those too. <laughs> then some metal embellishments from Fancy Pants. They're really heavy, good quality. Some Teresa Collins black bling dangles. Really respect and like her. And then cute little um, charms, flip flops. Flip flops, flip flops. <laughs> charms that I'll probably hang on some of the jewelry line that I have ordered from Close to My Heart that would go cute with that. I think that's it. Um, so a sad, sad month for the scrapbooking industry, stamping industry. They closed on the 15th and they'll be missed very much so, but new things coming our way, I hope, in the scrapbooking industry in the crafting industry, paper crafting industry. Quilting seems to be 
on the rise in popularity. So we'll see. We'll see what the next the next era brings. Thanks for watching.